Hello friends, welcome to Research Your Food Knowledge Platform. I am Prashant, I am a qualified food engineer and a nutritionist. So in this video, I am going to talk about the risks, the symptoms and prevention tips of dehydration, especially in older adults. So let's get into the video. So uh, to start with, so Research Your Food uh, Knowledge Platform is one stop solution for all your food science, nutrition and healthcare needs. So we cover the entire lifespan of human beings and pets. So uh, stay uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel and uh, let's get into the video. So uh, first one is uh, dehydration is especially very, very dangerous uh, when it goes to severe level in older adults. So typically, if you see what dehydration is, basically losing more water as well as electrolytes than what you are replenishing, right? So uh, typically what happens is, as people uh, uh, spend a lot of time in uh, hot and dry climates, uh, the chance of uh, people getting dehydrated increases, right? And I think as you know that uh, throughout the world, the climate change and the temperatures are soaring, even very, very cold countries, uh, they're recording high temperatures, right? Uh, uh, in the last five years. So uh, this uh, dehydration problem is getting more and more severe uh, in many parts of the world, right? And if you see uh, the number of people who are dying with sunstroke, right? Uh, across the world is around close to 5 lakh people, you know, 500,000 people are dying each and every year because of sunstroke. And uh, this problem is especially more severe in older adults and let's understand why it is uh, like that. And let's see all the prevention tips and even how to manage this problem, right? So uh, the thing is, uh, first let's understand why older adults are especially at more risk. So what happens is as people age, as you can see uh, in the slides, as people age, uh, there are physiological changes that are happening in, in bodies, uh, in body of uh, people, right? So what happens is the typically if you see as we age, the amount of water content, the moisture content in throughout our, our body keeps going down, right? So uh, this puts uh, uh, especially elderly people, you know, pe people who have crossed 60 years or 70 years and people who are um, in the older ages, it puts them at more risk, right? And uh, there are multiple reasons why this happens actually. So for example, if you see, um, we have uh, different sensations in our body, right? We have a, a sensation for thirst, we have a sensation for hunger, right? So what happens is what uh, the research says is that as people age, the sensation of thirst goes down in many people, right? So what happens is even if they are like dehydrated totally or maybe up to a certain extent, their sensing mechanism is not saying that, right? So what happens is because of that, people don't drink water or people don't replenish the lost electrolytes and water, right? So that can lead to severe hydration and all the effects uh, that are associated with it, right? Uh, this is one of the reasons. And also there are multiple reasons, like for example, as people age, right? Uh, people tend to get to more and more health issues. There are comorbidities that we call, uh, like hypertension, diabetes, and even joint problems. And even many, there are many cancer patients also in the world. So what happens is these people uh, have multiple health issues and they are also consuming uh, or taking more and more medications also, right? Uh, some medication, they can increase the risk of uh, dehydration also. If you are a senior or if you are a caregiver for a senior or, a, a, or an elderly person or if your family has elderly people, try to observe these symptoms, right? So that you can do something about it. So uh, uh, let's look at the symptoms. So many times these uh, thirst symptoms are like very, very subtle, you know, it is very difficult to find out especially for a for another person it's much more difficult uh, but try to observe these symptoms if you are uh, an uh, older person try to observe these symptoms in yourself so uh, especially dry mouth and dry skin so dry skin is a bit of a later part you know as people are getting more and more uh, uh, dehydrated uh, or as people are getting older and older the skin uh, dehydration becomes more severe uh, but typically dry mouth is a serious problem and this happens in many, many people, not just in older adults, actually it happens in uh, young adults and even teens also, right? <clears throat> so try to observe this dry mouth uh, thing. And uh, the second thing is darker, less frequent uh, urination. This is also a very, very easy way to find out, right? So typically what happens is when, especially in case of uh, older adults, as I said, they take a lot of medications, right? Not all of them, but many of them. So those medications can also affect the color of urine. But typically what happens is, 
uh, people who consume very less water, right? Uh, water in direct form or through foods and beverages. So their urine is very, very darker and uh, actually it is more acidic also. also. So make sure that you keep drinking water so that, uh, that uh, uh, urine becomes lighter in color. So this is one of the very easy ways uh, that uh, people can find out, right? And the confusion or mood changes, this, is a com this comes at a, uh, let's say, higher level of de dehydration, not in the very beginning stage. So what happens is typically this, this applies to adults and everybody actually. So if we lose 2% of uh, uh, total water content in our body, it affects our ability to think also, right? So this is very important, right? 2% is very, very less. It's not very huge. So uh, this confusion or more changes, this can uh, affect people as uh, they're getting more and more dehydrated, right? So try to observe these uh, symptoms uh, in people and uh, uh, fatigue and dizziness and fast heart rate, this uh, typically happens when people are spending a lot of time outdoors, right? Uh, especially in very hot and dry weather, uh, this can happen, right? So uh, try to observe these symptoms and uh, uh, when, when you find these symptoms in yourself or in a, in a person near you, so try to uh, uh, increase the consumption of water. So this is one of the very important things. And sunken eyes appearance, of course, this happens in extreme forms. Severe hydration can lead to kidney problems, seizures and even death also, especially when the weather is very, very hot and the person is severely dehydrated, you know, lost a lot of uh, water to, through sweat and even when we are exhaling uh, air, that also, I mean, through that also we lose uh, moisture, right? So especially in very hot and dry weathers, this problem can happen. And in fact, many, many people uh, die because of sunstroke and the effects of dehydration. So uh, the problem is uh, a se uh, serious problem, but there are very, very simple solutions. So let's uh, try to find out the solutions. And uh, for mild dehydration, you know, simple dehydration, try to increase the amount of water consumption or oral fluids, like uh, even uh, you can consume um, green tea or even uh, buttermilk or yogurt. There are many, many options which are like uh, rich in water and electrolytes. So what are electrolytes? Basically, if you see, there are certain uh, minerals that are very, very important for us, right? For example, if you take sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, chlorides, these are electrolytes and these are very, very important thing, uh, things for us. So what happens is if uh, people, I mean, basically in healthy adults, young adults especially, there is a very good balance between water and sodium in our body, right? So what happens is as people age, as people uh, get older and older, this balance is not maintained perfectly, right? So uh, especially that also one of the reasons why it leads to, I mean, as people age and older in case of seniors, this problem can be more severe. But again, as I said, there are very, very simple solutions. As you can see on the screen, uh, drinking electrolyte uh, drinks, for example, uh, simply you can just add some salt and uh, a bit of sugar to your water, just uh, mix it and keep sipping it, especially in hot weather. And if, if there are uh, older adults in your family or something like you can just uh, give this uh, thing to them, right? And increasing the consumption of uh, broths or even soups right uh, um, more of uh, water uh, rich uh, beverages is also very important and again uh, try to reduce the consumption of tea and coffee because they work in opposite way right so and especially if you take fruits and vegetables right so majority of the fruits and vegetables they have at least 80 percent moisture in them right so as you consume more and more uh, fruits and vegetables uh, you get water from those uh, things also right so that can also work and uh, the good thing is that they don't have many calories. If you see most of the uh, fruits, vegetables, these natural things, they have very, very less number of calories. And uh, one more thing is, so many times what happens is the, the sensation of thirst and hunger uh, can be confusing sometimes, right? So what happens is many times people who don't have the habit of drinking water a lot or frequently consuming water, so they uh, misinterpret the thirst sensation as hunger sensation, right? So what happens is, see, many times we get water from multiple sources, right? So we get water from drinking water directly or through beverages and things like that. And we get water from our food also, right? For example, if you are a rice eater, you get a lot of water from uh, rice also when you 
cook that and eat that food rice so uh, basically what happens is people uh, i mean there are some studies that uh, suggest this people who don't don't drink a sufficient amount of water they try to consume uh, more amount of food right what they are trying to do is the thirst sensation they are misinterpreting as hunger sensation and they are consuming food or something so that can increase the calorie consumption and that can lead to weight problems and things like that so try to uh, consume more fruits and vegetables especially in the summer time especially when the uh, weather is very very hot and dry right so this is very important and especially in case of severe cases right severe cases of dehydration the person needs to be immediately uh, transferred to the hospital or uh, uh, and that person needs to get this iv fluid so this is very very important because uh, the the time it, it can be very very uh, sensitive there right if the person uh, is severely dehydrated and it takes more time for the person to you know replenish those lost electrolytes that can lead to death also right that happens in uh, many many hot countries right so the next thing is like uh, definitely for any kind of uh, uh, health issue prevention is better than cure right so definitely we can prevent this problem uh, right on a like on a daily basis for older adults as well as younger adults also everybody right so uh, definitely what are the solutions so try to ha have remain uh, seniors about sipping water so in case of seniors uh, what they can do is instead of uh, drinking lot of water at a time and just waiting it's better to drink small amounts of water more frequently right so what happens is for example what i do personally is that uh, I, I have a bottle of water in front of me almost all the time if i'm working uh, if i'm uh, having a system i'm just working on my computer i keep a bottle in front of me in, in my vision peripheral vision so that i keep drinking water that is very very important right because what happens is out of sight out of mind so if you don't have a bottle of water in front of you there is very high chance that you don't drink water that often right so it is very important that you have that water availability and accessibility also right it, it is especially more important in older adults because what happens is as people age you know as people become 70s 80s and things like that so there uh, many times their mobility is also reduced right uh, people have um, you know knee issues and back issues and there are a lot of uh, uh, problems that people get as they age so uh, it, it may be more uncomfortable for them to go and uh, take water and drink every time right so it's always better to have a bottle of water in front of them in, in a very easy and uh, availability and accessible form so that they drink that water more often right this is very important and as i said uh, try to consume uh, water rich foods this is important not just for older adults it is important for everybody right especially as i said uh, fruits and vegetables so you see the thing is fruits and vegetables have lot of water right which is a good thing and they also have many many important nutrients and antioxidants that we need right this is very important because the more natural food that you consume the higher that you get these nutrients right otherwise uh, you are going to miss those nutrients and also uh, people who consume very good amount of fruits vegetables nuts and things like that they tend to put on less weight you know compared to people who consume past processed food or packaged food or high calorie food right so definitely this is important and uh, especially when people are spending lot of time outdoors you know i know there are many uh, elderly people and seniors who are very physically active uh, who exercise for 30 minutes 45 minutes even one hour right uh, so make sure that if, especially if you are going for a brisk walking session right try to take a bottle of water with you uh, and many uh, mainly uh, in the case of high temperature uh, environment right so and try to review medications because what happens is sometimes some medications can lead to uh, dehydration also so especially when you are suggested certain medication right a, a new medication is suggested to, uh, to you try to observe if it is leading to uh, any kind of dehydration right if it is uh, if you are feeling that your mouth and tongue they are getting dry uh, very fast or more frequent so just inform that to your uh, doctor so that they will change the medication or they will give you some suggestions uh, regarding that so uh, these are very important things and uh, one more thing is especially people as people age they have they tend to have more teeth dental related problems and uh, this uh, people who have uh, got their teeth removed i mean dent uh, people who are wearing de dentures and things like that uh, they also tend to get this uh, dry mouth syndrome it's just a very very serious problem that's very very painful right uh, very uncomfortable to uh, handle that problem so in that case also uh, people can lead to this uh, dehydration problem so try to uh, understand what is happening with you and try to observe your uh, thirst cues because 
many times even even in young people also the uh, dehydration especially in milder form it's very difficult to find out right many people don't have the sensation or people try to postpone drinking of water you know especially if it if it is when it is not uh, accessible to them that's the reason we always uh, suggest people to have a bottle in with a uh, full uh, amount of water in that so that at least it is available and accessible so that you drink more often right that is very important for everybody and uh, there are some good things like for example if you don't have a uh, habit of drinking or if you're forgetting to drink water uh, uh, so what you can do is there are many many applications in both uh, iOS and Android that can remind you to drink water. Uh, it's, it's fantastic, right? So you can uh, download those applications and uh, try to use those applications especially, you know, because when people are working in front of a computer in their office or somewhere for many many hours, uh, people tend to forget drinking water, right? So have these applications installed in your uh, phone and they will remind you to drink water frequently, right? So which can solve actually a lot of problems and which can also so prevent a lot of health problems, right? Just simply being aware of this dehydration problem, especially in uh, seniors, can uh, lead to actually healthier life, right? So make sure that you consume uh, uh, water and water-rich beverages and fruits and vegetables and things like that so that you don't have to face the effects of uh, severe uh, dehydration, right? I think uh, this video is useful for you and in case you have any questions regarding food science, nutrition and preventive healthcare, we'll be really happy to answer those questions and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, we hope to see you in our next video. Thanks a lot.